Welcome to my trading books for all books trend here and today I'm here with my November wrap up. <clears throat> this month I read seven books and those books are number one Boys That Bite. Um, this book is about uh, twins Rainy and Sunside um, and uh, one is a girl's twin and the other one is a good student uh, complete polar opposites like their names and one wants to be a vampire and one doesn't and one night the vampire is meant to turn rainy turn sunshine and the whole story is about uh, trying to unturn her from vampire to human I thought this book was very hilarious it was a young adult book and it was so great because I thought that um, it's just like I haven't read a book that was funny and like so I don't know I felt like I was watching a TV series it was so nice uh, written down and I, I, I loved it number two I read Bon Iver, an elemental origin series and this book this book follows Petra and her, her trip to going um, to an archaeological trip uh, in Africa and uh, her discovering her powers and going into the, f the story further with the and discovering a lot about her and it was a really nice book uh, it had a lot of ele it had an element of magic and adventure and a lot what I loved about this book was like it had really good strong hearing and um yeah it was worth a read so go yourself and read it number three the visitor's room um i got this book as a, a reader's copy uh from a, a writer and it is a short story um it's a horror thriller and it was really nice because i love her stories a lot because you can read it like in a half an hour and still get the spooky element on it and it's really r nice reading and you just want to read more at the end of the story now before three dark, dark crowns I was actually surprised by this I thought it was really a good written everybody says that it's a very slow book and they like like towards the end they like it better I thought it paced really well in the beginning and right at the end I thought it was rushed and I thought they wanted to finish it but they didn't write all the the scenes that they wanted and I just I felt towards the end it was more rushed than it was in the beginning and it was still okay book I it didn't do anything for me it's just like yeah I liked it and that's the end of the story will I be reading the second one Probably at some point I did get the second book from the library and it's sitting on myself and I haven't read it so I'm just gonna return it and I'm just gonna say when I'm ready I'm gonna read it. Okay. Number five Ravaged from ba Vampire Awakenings that's uh, book number seven I have pre-ordered this book quite a while ago and I was waiting it to come out and I've read I've been reading this series for a year and a half now and when I read the first book I was like okay I need to read all the rest books and then it kind of stopped and I thought the story stopped but suddenly I got a notification that she released more books obviously I think she was writing them I thought she actually stopped the series but that's all right I mean I kind of I really love the series because it has an element of fantasy with the vampires, an element of romance, and and it has the adventure and everything in it. So I would I would really if you really like vampires and adventure, it's really good. It's a really good book. I did talk about those series on my top uh, seven days of top seven, and it's worth reading if you wanted to. So yeah, that's a thumbs up for me. Number six, Finding His Princess. Um, I got this as an art copy and I thought this book was great. It's a 
Cinderella retelling, um, a filthy retelling. I was is a new adult book. Basically, it says the story. You read the story of the book and in a more modern modern world, but also it has those new adult scenes. And I really liked it because it was something different. And I'm getting into a lot of new adult books lately just because you know they're so easy to relax so yeah and seventh book is Waking His Princess uh, it's a Sleeping Beauty retelling again from the same author and I thought it was really good as well um, and you know the romance side of it, it was really good and you know if you you like those kind of books I would really highly suggest uh, you read those you read them I mean I'm gonna link them down below and now we move on to my December TBR so I have three books I want to read that I got from the library I'm gonna I'm gonna later on put a link how I chose those books it would be really good if you could see it and book number one is Wicked Like the Wildfire Honestly, I I actually chose that by random. It's like a, I did a video of me choosing these books blindfolded, so I don't really know anything about it. Number two, it's When Dimple Meant Rishi. I think I really wanted to read this book because it's been out there for a while and everybody has been like, um, be talking about it and they like it or they don't so it's just like I like contemporary as well so it would be nice to try it out so yeah and the third book oops, and the third book is Magisterium I don't know about this book but the tagline is everything you've been told is a lie so that would be interesting to read another fantasy book and don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, share with your friends and family. And I'll see you next time. Bye.